everybody, welcome back. I am joined now by two very special guests. I have Dr. Matthew Miller, who is the Executive Director of the Veterans Affairs VA Suicide Prevention Program. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, great to be here. And I also, of course, have Joe Bartosi, who is the President and CEO of NSSF. Thank you for being here. My pleasure, thanks so much for having us. So the fact that you're both here with me together, there's a reason for that, and that is because you have this incredible partnership. Let's start with you, Joe. Talk a little bit about the partnership with the VA. The NSF engaged in a suicide prevention program some years ago with AFSP, American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, and we expanded that to work very closely with the Veterans Administration to prevent veteran suicide as well. Uh, we're very proud of the program, and we think it's very important because our industry has a lot of veterans, so it's a natural fit for us to be able to talk about this subject. Okay, and Dr. Miller, why was it so important to be here at SHOT Show? Yeah, as Joe said, natural fit, but with veterans, you know, uh, about 70% of veterans who die by suicide die by firearm suicide. And getting the message across about safe storage, understanding how safe storage can save their lives or those that they care about uh, during critical periods in their life, that's what this is about. What are some of the statistics that you can share? Well, so we know that, uh, as I mentioned, 70%, it's uh, been going up since 2000, 2001, hasn't gone down. We're at 72% uh, for our latest data. We also know that the difference between veterans who die by firearm suicide and non-veterans is, is pretty significant. Um, about 65% higher for non-veteran uh, males uh, versus veteran males. And for females, it's about 200% uh, higher for veteran females. So really important topic for us to be discussing. And Joe, how did it come about then that the NSSF got involved with having this partnership? Well, we had learned that most firearm deaths were actually not homicides and not accidents. They were actually suicides. Uh, once we kind of realized this and did the, did the study, uh, we thought it would be a, a good opportunity for us to enter into the discussion about secure storage, putting, uh, they say, time between the thought and the trigger, as we say, uh, and, and bringing to bear the firearm community as a helping, trusted entity in this discussion. So what are the, some of the things that are happening here this year at SHOT Show? I think what the SHOT Show really demonstrates for us is that this is a partnership. I think you mentioned, Joe, the importance of um, serving as a messenger, talking, communicating. This isn't about we're not here to represent the federal government and restriction or uh, Second Amendment uh, rights being pulled. We're here to talk within the context of Second Amendment and how can we together save lives. I guarantee you the majority of time veteran to veteran and members of NSSF to others are the best messengers of that, certainly not me. So that's why we're here. So how important is it just to have SHOT Show? It gives us a forum, right? We're reaching a hundred more or more countries. We're reaching a nationwide audience. We've got media folks here from all over the world. And it's a, it's a time for us to come together as a community to have, you know, yes, business, it's a business show, but we also, there's more than just business, right? It's, you know, say, mankind is our business, so to speak. We're all humans, we all want the right thing, and we're very happy to be part of this. We're, we're you know, it's a passion project for, for many of us, uh, and certainly we want the message to go across. There's no mutually exclusive between owning a gun or, you know, uh, having a problem with a gun, so we want to say we can do this together, we can have this trusted conversation, we can have a brave conversation, and prevent suicides and save lives. Any closing thoughts for me, Dr. Miller? Well, I think the community aspect is so critical to the success of communicating that message. I mean, I've seen a lot of hugging around here. I mean, there's people coming together, and uh, I think that that really provides a powerful context for getting the message out about safe storage and saving lives. All right, thank you both for being here. Dr. Matt Miller, Executive Director of the Suicide Prevention Program for the VA, and also, of course, Joe Bartosi, President and CEO of NSSF. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Appreciate it.